away. Start off at Villa Park. Aston Villa versus Norwich is the early kickoff. Thoughts? Well, first of all, I looked in the book this morning, 73% of the cash so far is going on Villa. Not surprisingly, if anybody knows what, what Norwich can do is Lambert himself. He probably get a plan together to beat his old team and that's certainly where their money's going so far. But uh, you wouldn't expect plenty of goals? No, I think it's going to be dull as ditch water. I think it's <laughs> going to be a couple of cheeky goals and that'll be enough. So would you would you be edging towards 2-0? Um, well, 2-0, two 2-1. Nil, two I think Holt might have a, ga a goal in him. He's starting to score again. So, But w as I say, if you're going for an outright bet, this is definitely all the way for Villa. OK, well, if we need to look at the odds, we're going to go over to the bet butler for the first time. How you doing, Nigel? Oh, I'm good, guys. I'm good. Very interesting what Rupert's saying there. 73% of the money that you've been putting on is going on as the Villa. But yet you can back them at a very tasty price. If you look at that price, 73%, it works out around about 2-5. to five. But yet William Hill are going even money as the Villa. Will that last? Sounds like already that price is under pressure. 23 to 10 the draw, 14 to 5 Norwich. All the stats tell you Aston Villa. Aston Villa have only failed to win, lose this game in two out of 23 matches. Don't think it's going to be many goals. Both of the lowest scoring in the Premier League. Both scored six. I think it could be a low scoring match, but all the money for Villa. Paul Lambert against his old side. Uh, that even money could be under pressure. 73% of all your money on the Villa. Even money still available though. Even money about a two to five shot. That certainly makes appeal. Yeah, I, mean, I think that you're absolutely right. There's no doubt that that will come under pressure. It's the early kickoff. There's not much around, so uh, as in not much else to bet on. So there'll be a lot of money on that match. And you'll OK, see and then unders and overs, 2.5 being the margin. Well, as you said, if it's going to be a low-scoring match, probably. Um, if you look at Villa, uh, Darren Bent, he looks at his slight pass of best to me. Holt, yes, I think he might score one, but he's not going to score a first full. So, yeah, lower than 2.5. OK, Nigel, we're looking at under here. What's the price? All the stats tell you under. Obviously, both teams only scoring six goals. Last season, though, it was 3-2. It was a five-goal thriller. But under two and a half, four to five. Now, I haven't seen this price. I thought that William Hill might be a little bit shorter than that. That's a quite a generous price, I think, here by William Hill. Four to five under two and a half goals. There's no way he could be backing over two and a half goals at 19 to 20 and I might even have a go at under one and a half goals here with 11 to four I think if you look at games in the in the early part of the game these two sides don't score many goals under one and a half here 11 to four I also think the bookings is interesting Mark here Aston Villa one of the most tastiest for bookings Norwich very very clean but the mix of Lambert going back I think it's an interesting benefit but I'm with you guys oh under two and a half goals here 19 to 20 sorry I had it the wrong way around under two and a half goals 19 to 20 definitely the value for me yeah 19 to 20 looks very generous yeah, I don't think that will last either, actually. No. <laughs> I haven't seen that price already, yeah. And, and you're looking, at, and the reason you're thinking that both of them are in desperate need for three points. Yeah. And if Villa get in front 1-0, is it shut up shop and we'll just take that? I wouldn't be surprised at all. I and mean, as I say, I mean, he loved his time at Norwich, so is he actually going to want to, to take them apart? Probably not. A couple of goals, li little cheeky win, three points. Thanks very much. Nigel, we think it could be 1-0. Who's going to get that goal for us? Well, I think it's a very interesting market. Obviously, Darren Bent, 4-1 to one favourite. He was doing the business last season, not so much this time around. I think the goals will be at a premium. I think Grant Holt, 7-1, to one, scored two first goals in his last three matches. I'm not quite sure of the market. I, I, I'd be probably tempted to maybe go for a big price. Agbon Lahore, 6-1. to one. I'd be looking at someone else not on this caption. Some double-figure prices because the goals are going to be a premium. And even though I might have a little bit, I might have a bet on no goal scorer here at Tasty Price, probably around about 8 or 9-1. to one. But I think Bent, 4-1. to one. I could see where the William Hills are coming from going so short. Short, but last season, definitely for me. This season, not for me at all.